Uh, now back to today's wild winds and the impact they're having on flights in and out of Denver International Airport. Matt Morrow is joining us now with a look at what's new tonight. Matt. Now, Erica Jeremy, there's a lot that is new. And the bottom line, it's good news for people flying in and out of the airport here in the next 24 hours. First, here's a live look at Denver International tonight. You see a little bit under construction there. But the main thing you see with this camera is it's calm. It's not blown around. It calmed down just like Dave told us it would be at this hour. But as you know, that wasn't the case in the middle of the day. As a result, the strong winds, because of them, the airport was down to just two runways from the six that it typically uses. And this is what it did to flights. Take a look at this here. 662 flights were delayed today. 162 were canceled out of DIA. This is all according to FlightAware. The most cancellations were from SkyWest. It's a regional airline that contracts with United, Delta, American, and more. United had the most delays. 60% of its flight, 6 out of 10, took off and landed late. Now, you might be thinking these problems, coupled with bad weather in other parts of the country and staffing issues, could trickle into tomorrow. Well, take a look. It's not going to. This is the flight information. Well, this is actually uh, today's, but okay. So tomorrow, there are just three delays and six cancellations for Denver. I know it's early and the problems could arise, but it's certainly good news that it's not already predicted to be a mess. Nationally, the numbers for delays and cancellations are exponentially higher, and that should be good news for people flying in and out of Denver tomorrow. I heard from a number of people who got alerts from their airlines saying they may have issues again tomorrow, but as of right now, it looks like they will not.